But have you ever wondered why some people who seem to have it all still aren't happy? It's a question that's puzzled many. But Albert Schweitzer may have hit the nail on the head when he said, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. This philosophy flips the conventional wisdom on its head, suggesting that happiness isn't the byproduct of success, but rather its catalyst. It's not about chasing success in hopes of finding happiness, but about finding happiness in our actions and letting that joy guide us to success. It's about doing what you love and loving what you do, and in that, finding a sense of fulfillment and achievement. So how can you apply this philosophy in your life? Let's break it down. First off, stop chasing success and start chasing happiness. This might seem counterintuitive in our goal-oriented society, but this shift in perspective can be life-changing. Success in the traditional sense often leaves us feeling empty, striving for the next big thing without ever truly feeling satisfied. But when you focus on happiness, you start to fill your life with activities and people that bring you joy and fulfillment. You might find this happiness in a hobby, a conversation with a loved one, or even in meaningful work. The point is to prioritize what makes you happy over what you think will make you successful. This doesn't mean abandoning your ambitions, but rather aligning them with what truly matters to you. Remember, success is not one size fits all. It's deeply personal and entirely subjective. So instead of asking, will this make me successful? Ask, will this make me happy? Success doesn't have a one size fits all definition. It's a tailor-made suit stitched to fit your unique shape, style and preference. Now imagine success as this suit. Would you let someone else decide its design, color or fabric? No, right? The same applies to your definition of success. Too often we get caught up in societal standards, racing to reach milestones set by others. But success isn't a checklist created by society. It's defined by what truly matters to you. It might not be a corner office or a six-figure salary. Maybe it's achieving a work-life balance or making a positive impact in your community. Align your goals with your own values, not someone else's. What are you passionate about? What makes you feel accomplished? Seek that, because when your goals resonate with your personal values and passions, you're not just successful, you're fulfilled. Remember, you're the one who gets to define what success means to you. Work doesn't have to be just a means to an end. It's a profound statement that challenges centuries of conventional wisdom. But the truth is, when you align your career with your passions, work can become much more than a mere paycheck. It can be a source of fulfillment, a conduit for expressing your talents, and even a platform to make a difference in the world. Imagine waking up each morning excited about the day ahead, not because you're on the brink of a major business deal or a significant promotion, but simply because you love what you do. This is the essence of finding passion in your work. Your job becomes not a chore, but a joy, a part of your life that you eagerly engage in and look forward to. It's about creating a life where work and passion intersect, leading to a sense of fulfillment that can't be measured in monetary terms alone. And when you're fulfilled, when you love what you do, success naturally follows. When you love what you do, work becomes a source of joy, not just a paycheck. Your mindset can be your greatest ally or your worst enemy. A positive mindset is like a buoyant life raft in a turbulent sea, keeping you afloat amidst the waves of life's challenges. It infuses you with the motivation to strive for your dreams, the resilience to bounce back from setbacks, and the openness to seize new opportunities that come your way. Think of your mindset as the lens through which you view the world. When that lens is positive, you're more likely to see solutions rather than problems, opportunities rather than obstacles. It's like turning on a light in a dark room, illuminating possibilities that were previously hidden. But how do we maintain this positivity, especially when the going gets tough? It begins with a conscious choice, a decision to look for the silver lining, to focus on what's going right instead of what's going wrong. Remember, hurdles are not roadblocks, but stepping stones to success. A positive mind finds opportunity in everything, while a negative mind finds faults in everything. Setbacks aren't roadblocks, they're stepping stones. Quite a profound statement, isn't it? You see, the journey to success isn't always smooth sailing. There will be hiccups, missteps, and yes, setbacks. But rather than viewing these as hindrances, we can choose to see them as learning opportunities. Each setback brings with it a wealth of knowledge. It could be a lesson about what doesn't work, a chance to develop resilience, or even a nudge in a new unexpected direction. When we open ourselves to this learning, we're not just 
overcoming obstacles, we're growing, we're improving, we're becoming stronger versions of ourselves. Embracing challenges, then, is not about enduring hardship for hardship's sake. It's about seeing the potential for growth that lies within each difficult situation. It's about turning adversity into advantage, weaknesses into strengths, and problems into possibilities. So start seeing your setbacks as setups for greater comebacks. You can't pour from an empty cup. This old adage rings true when it comes to prioritizing your well-being. If you're not nurturing your physical, mental and emotional health, it's challenging to find the energy and motivation to pursue happiness and success. Physical health is the foundation of well-being. Regular exercise not only strengthens your body, but also enhances your mood, sharpens your mind and boosts your energy levels. It's a powerful stress buster too. Mental and emotional well-being are equally important. Activities like meditation can help quiet the mind, reduce anxiety and foster a sense of inner peace. Spending time in nature can also be incredibly therapeutic. It can help you feel more grounded, connected and refreshed. Remember, prioritizing well-being isn't about achieving perfection. It's about making small, consistent efforts to care for yourself in the same way you'd care for a loved one. When you take care of yourself, you're in a better position to pursue happiness and success. We've covered a lot, so let's recap. We started by shifting our focus from success to happiness, concentrating on pursuits that bring us joy and fulfillment. We then redefined success, basing it on personal values, not societal standards. We explored the importance of finding passion in our work, turning it into a source of joy. We stressed the importance of cultivating a positive mindset, staying resilient and open to new opportunities. We also underscored the value of embracing learning and growth, viewing challenges as stepping stones rather than roadblocks. Prioritizing well-being, both physical and emotional, also took center stage. We emphasized the importance of celebrating small victories, keeping motivation high and fostering a sense of accomplishment. Lastly, we encouraged authenticity, staying true to oneself without falling into the comparison trap. In essence, by focusing on happiness and fulfillment, we pave our way to personal success. Remember, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. So focus on what makes you happy and success will follow.